Hello, good morning, my dear children. Welcome to your English class for science and history. Today we are going to learn the second chapter of your Vistas, which is called the Tiger King. First, we before we dwell on to the chapter, let us try to discuss about the author. His name is Ramaswamy Ayer Krishnamurti and his pen name Kao King. He was born in 1899 and died in 1954. He was a great writer, a critic, poet, journalist, and an Indian independent activist. Many movies we have mapped by him, and some of the most prominent ones we are Puni Sheldon, Chaga Bhumi, Partipan Kandamu. Mira, etc. He has written ar around some 150 short stories, and some of the most uh, well known short stories are there's obviously The Time King, then Otrai Rosa, Thorkolai, Amara Vajdu, etc. Now let us move on to the summary of the story. This story is about a king. His Highness Jilai Changzang Bahadur, the Maharaja of Pratibandapuram. On the tenth day of his birth, the chief royal astrologer of Pratibandapuram predicted the date of the child because of a tiger. On hearing the prediction of the chief astrologer, the ten day old child, Prince, warned all the tigers in his kingdom. And from that day onwards, he can be known as the Tiger King. At the age of 20, the boy prince became a ki the king of Pratibandapuram. And when he remembered the prediction of the royal astrologer, he started on a tiger killing spree. He had forgotten all his royal responsibilities. He did not care anything about the services to the public. The welfare of the population was nil. After a certain point of time, the Maharaja found difficulty in finding tigers in his kingdom. It seems he had killed all the tigers in his kingdom. Then he went on to marry the princes of the state with the highest number of tiger population. Every time he would go to his father-in-law's kingdom, he would kill five or six tigers every time and come back. When he reached the 99th tiger, he was very desperate to kill the 100th tiger, which was going to be the reason the cause of his death. He asked, sorry, the hundred, uh, see there was a news about a tiger in the nearby village and the news proved to be very disappointing. So he asked his Diwan to find a tiger or else face his anger. The Diwan, out of the fear of the tiger, uh, of the king's anger, Arrange the hundred tiger from the people's park in Madras, which was the tiger was a very old and weak one. He placed it in the forest. The tiger made a careful aim and shot the tiger, but unfortunately, the tiger fainted because of the because of the bullet which passed by. In the meantime, the officials learned about the tiger being alive and they killed the tiger because of the fear of the king's wrath or anger, as you know. The king was happy and he went on to celebrate the third birthday of his son, thinking that he had already killed 100 tiger. 
and on for the birthday he found a poorly carved wooden tiger from somewhere in the market and then he was gifted to his son as a memento as a present for his birthday while playing with the wooden tiger a sliver of the carved tiger pierced his right hand and the king died because of the wound thus the hundred tiger although it was a carved wooden tiger became the cause of the king's death thus the hundred tiger took revenge on the king thank you Thank you.